Rihanna showcased truly her historic performance last night, setting a career high in franchise record with an astonishing 64 points on an efficient 20 for 28 shooting from the field. Coupled with 14 rebounds, four steals, he put on a breathtaking exhibition of skill and dominance. Giannis is unquestionably a powerhouse, standing alone as the league's best player. Notably, his 24 free throws made out of 32 attempts hint at the potential for even a higher score. He had the chance to score 72 if he could have won 32 for 32, but he's not a great free throw shooter. On the flip side, the Pacers' conduct seemed less professional. This prompts the question, why doesn't Giannis receive the same respect as other NBA mega superstars? Would the Pacers treat LeBron or Steph Curry similar? Giannis achieved several remarkable milestones during the game. He secured the highest score in fourth quarter by any player this season. He shattered the Bucks' single-season scoring record, man. He joined an elite group as the fifth player in NBA history to score 60-plus, 10-plus rebounds in under 40 minutes. Despite these achievements, it's somewhat perplexing that the Pacers chose to award the game board to some bum a player not anticipated to have a long NBA career. They wanted to give him the ball for making a single free throw. The Pacers, suddenly in the spotlight, seem to be navigating this new, newfound attention with a touch of inexperience, man. In conclusion, there's no denying that Giannis is deserving of the game ball, and it's imperative the NBA gets the game ball to Giannis, man.